Right, today I'm going to show you how to create a table of contents really fast, really quick, hopefully in four acts. The first act is going to be actually showing you what these table of contents look like. Table contents are usually found in long documents, usually in the third or the first or even the second page. In this document, which is APA style, it's found in the third page, and you can see here that the little dots and the numbers pointing to where the section of the document is found are available. An extra bonus when you do it in Word, automatically, the way I'm going to show you is that you can click on the number and it takes you to that section that the document begins to talk about. An extra bonus is that also when you save it as a PDF, it creates sometimes links to those sections. But that's a different story. All right, that's my first act. My first act is simply showing you what a table of contents looks like. This is what we're going to do. Second act. Well, for the second act, I have to make a couple of assumptions. I need to make the assumption that you know what a table of contents is and that you know a little bit of MLA style or APA style. So APA or MLA or Chicago or whatever styling you have been uh, using. Okay? You do need to understand that because depending on how those are, you need to create headings that represent the many different styles. Okay, so pretending you're doing this document from scratch, I've added all the parts for my document. All these parts are going to be the same heading. So, I am going to start here on introduction, go all the way to the references, and I'm going to select heading. Now, if you know APA style, you already know that this is wrong because it has not Times New Roman, is a, is a different size. So just humor me. This is a quick way of showing you how to create a table of contents, not how to create an APA table of contents. Got it? So once we've done that, and we did that by actually going to the Home tab and selecting what we want it to be, Heading 1 and clicking on Heading 1. Simple. Second act. So that does that. The second act is to actually create page breaks in between each of the sections. So if I hit return, I can, st I can start typing and it will be where my text would go and my paragraphs would go. But then I need to go ahead and separate them to mimic that the, the, there's more than a couple of lines. And to do that, I'm going to go ahead and for each section, I'm going to create some page breaks. To do that, I'm going to go to the Layout tab and select Break and choose Page, which will jump into the next page. And I will keep on doing this, adding page breaks until I have finished the document with the page breaks. Okay, I already have a document with all the breaks. You like that? It's like a cooking show. All right, so I have added different page breaks to mimic that I have different pages with different contents in them. Now you go ahead and do the following. Depending on what you want the table of contents to show up, I want it to show up here where it says table of contents. So I'm going to add an extra page break in here. And I'm going to highlight the word called table of contents just for fun. And I'm going to hit delete a couple of times just to make a little room. Next is the magic. Click where it says document elements on your Word 2011 using the Mac. And you will see this cool thing called table of contents area. And if you look through them, it'll have different styles. I am going to use kind of like the traditional style with the little dots which is formal. I'm going to go ahead and click there. And now it shows me the different types of different levels that I have here. So that's one way of doing it. Another way of doing it is I want to go ahead and have this style. The style that I'm looking at is called modern. So I'm going to go ahead and click there. And now when I select the modern style, you'll be able to see that each header now shows itself here. Right, And then it's just a matter of formatting it the way you want it formatted. So I'm going to highlight this, go back home, and say that this is Times New Roman. Boring Times New Roman. 
and that it is and that the text is automatic so I'm gonna go ahead and say that or I insisted it would be black say and then it's not bold so I'm gonna go ahead and unbold it and now when I click away it will look like this and remember the extra bonus I'm gonna highlight over here this is my third R act and click and it takes me to that region okay fourth act if you want to change the heading type that requires that you edit or the mo you modify this area to modify this area you click on the style you want to edit then you right click for those of you that are using a laptop two fingers one click down modify and then you can go ahead and choose the size the format and you can also rename it that's how I was able to rename APA style table H1 let's say when you do that it will change this over here okay and that's how you create a table of contents closing act so if you recall the document that we had earlier the one that was that, that we did have the styling that needed to happen I'm gonna be going I'm gonna go ahead and put this up somewhere maybe select, uh, type in a link so you guys can download the document because once you open this you can use this over and over once you define the styles perhaps in our future I will show you how to make a style but for now thank you for watching that's how you make table of contents using Microsoft Word 2011 for your brand spanking new Mac. Bye-bye.